what's up guys we're back at our camp it ain't much but it's ours that's our little golf cart there and uh we got the truck loaded down with a bunch of corn we have 10 bags of cob corn i think they're 40 or 50 pound bags we can go put them up we're gonna be up up here for a couple of days um no, we're gonna show you a bunch of cool stuff Hope you like this video more than the other ones. And please, I'm gonna tell you right now, these videos don't do well for me. If you like them, if you share anything, share this one, like it, comment, and help me out. Hey, we're gonna go put out corn, so we might be gone like 30, 40 minutes. Okay. So you ain't no got no rush. All right, that's good. Spot number one. You're so strong. See where I was sitting right there. I'm gonna go look for this doe. I think I saw her go down in the dog fennel, but more importantly, I just heard Crystal shoot. She's about, I don't know, quarter mile away, and she was looking at some does but waiting for a buck. So I hope she just shot a buck. Go see if I can find blood. Check out that old tree stand right there. It's like a tree fort. Been there a long time. So I, I couldn't find blood right away, but Crystal's got blood, heard the buck crash. I'm gonna go help her while we still got light, and then we'll come back and look for my doe. Y'all stand by. You see him? You see the deer? Crystal, you see the deer? I see it. Yeah. Was it a big one? Let's go cram through there and get your mom. What? It is, it is so heavy. Yeah. Oh. Hold on, I'm coming. Wait, I cracked him down. Hold on, that's still. Where'd you hit him? Huh? Where'd you hit him?
I got him. I don't know. I don't even see an entrance wound, do you? No. Right here. Good job, babe. Oh my gosh. Oh man. All right. Let's go make him into sausage. Drag him out. He's a big chunk. Big chungus. Would you think he was a, had bigger rackers with it? No, I thought his body was big. I wasn't necessarily caring about his rack that much. <laughs> I looked at his body and was like, wow. He's, he's a chunky boy. He will make good cheeseburgers. <laughs> what do we got? I'm going to try to hide the blood. Yeah, you can put a sensor. All right. Gotta go more your way. Are you videoing? Yep. One, two, three. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Back him <laughs> up. Oh, they're gonna be good with a couple of uh, runny eggs. Actually, over medium, if I'm being honest. Bianca, what are you doing? <laughs> Look where you're driving. It was a test. All right, can't breakfast with these two crazies. They're tagged out. Mm -hmm. Done, done. You're but done. I'm not. What are you doing? What are you putting on there? King crab sauce. I don't think that's what it is, but yeah, it's it is. King sauce, what? garlic butter. Same thing. It's for the crabs, but we heard it was good, good on steak. We, it's midday. I didn't see anything this morning. The girls didn't hunt because they tagged out last night. Um, but I'm still sitting on a buck tag. We're going to pick some field peas right now. Mr. Jeff uh, planted the field peas really for the deer, but um, he said they're ready and they're, we're, we're told us where there are some to go and pick and eat. Um, so that's what we're gonna go try and do now. We have a soybean field deer tore it up in the middle out there. He ain't even gonna make no money off them soybeans. But that's why we're out here on the farm, trying to help keep the deer population in control, or under control. Field peas. Crystal got me. <laughs> look but at some of these are really big. Like, look at like that kind one. Kind of purpley and white. Those are the ones you want. Ooh, look at that, B. Bang. I think we probably need a lot more ah, to, to make, make a pot. <laughs> meal. We but show them over do. here. So. Put it in the bucket. Ooh, here's one right here. Come around here, I'll show them. So first off, this field, these were planted for the deer as a food plot. Mm -hmm. But they're field peas and you can eat them. Um, Jeff has given me some before, but like this one here is too dried out. That's not what we want. That's past its prime. It might be close. Um, like this, right here. And then show them, B. Right a here. white, what, well, Jeff told me this. So if I'm doing this wrong and you know more about it. Blame Jeff. Blame <laughs> Jeff. I apologize, <laughs> yeah. my first time, but we're picking these field peas and then you don't want the green ones. Like, let's show them a green one. Of course, now I can't find a green one. And you can the see where have eaten them all. the deer have just mowed these like things these. down. Yeah, that one is too That's like fresh. a green bean. So oh, that's not what you want. This one's like purple. Yep. Then show them what's inside, what you actually yeah. eat, B. This is what you actually eat. These are all the beans. Yeah. So the Ooh. little field peas. I, I don't know what kind these are. I'm going to ask Jeff later. I know there's a number of varieties of field peas, but that's what we're doing this afternoon. So we can have a field pea meal. It's fun. You got stuff on your face. Hold on. Make kingfishing great again. <laughs> and pea picking. And pea picking? Yeah. <laughs> Make pea picking great again. A frog? I want to see. Of course, he peed on me. Gross. Woo -hoo. 
Oh my gosh, he's so green. Hurry up, B. I think I'm oh my gosh. I'll pull him back. It's like Kermit. So cute. Can we name him Kermit? Yeah. Go ahead, bub. Now, hey, he, now he likes me. You don't want him. <laughs> It's hard to find good help, y'all. I done picked a whole bucket myself. Not by no, yourself. That's a lie. Also, we were picking all of these really cool acorns. This yeah. on my butt. No. On your right side. Oh, yeah. Now we got to go home and shell them, and we don't actually know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, well, but we're going to figure it out. It's going to be a real learning experience for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Show them how to do something, B. Yeah. Show so, us your magic. This is thing. how I do it. There's a little thing at the top, and you want to uh -huh. split that into two. Okay. And then you can just like pull it, and it. sometimes it'll get stuck. And then if it gets stuck, you want to go from the side, and you can just like continue pulling. And then they just pop out. And then they just pop out. Look at how I do it. Okay. Pop it. Block it. Drop it. Pull it down. Oh, then. I've done this before. You can just show all your beans out. I'm telling you, I think I'm burning more calories picking them and uh, shelling them than I'm going to get from eating them. But yeah. I think they're going to be good. I know they're going to be good because I've eaten them before. I've just never picked them myself. <laughs> why Why do you have so few in your plate? Because I've been eating the pimento cheese. You ain't been with working. bacon from the pig. Boss, she ain't working. <laughs> she ain't working, boss. So we just finished shelling all those peas and then Dana and Jeff get down here and Dana says that they have a pea sheller. So do you, do you, Jeff, do you have a pea sheller? Two of them. What? Why didn't you yeah, tell me that before? I got Hold on. We met three of them. We got me and her that's two pea shellers and then we got one that works on 110 so we got three pea shellers yeah we got bianca. he let me, he let me and bianca do it by hand before they told us this machine existed yep <laughs> so we're back from hunt camp at least i am the girls were back a couple days before me i am worn out i hunted hard i didn't get a deer but we're ordering pizza because I gotta cook these field peas, but it's gonna take a while. And I, I, I wanna just eat. And I'm field hungry. peas will be better tomorrow if I cook them tonight. So to start out, I've got a Dutch oven. I got it eaten up and I've got some smoked ham hocks. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with three of these bad boys. Well, I might as well do all four. And yeah. Anyways, do all stop four. dogs. <laughs> So put the ham hocks in and we're gonna cover those with water. And I am going to simmer these ham hocks until they start to get tender. It's probably gonna take at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half before I do anything else. So this is the start of the field pea cook. So while my ham hocks are boiling down, I got a cast iron skillet warmed up and I got some bacon. Oh, nope, right over there, bacon peppers and onions we go in with the bacon like so i'm gonna render that down then add the onions and peppers in as your ham hocks are simmering down come in and skim this stuff off just because nobody wants that stuff that bacon has released some of its grease it's starting to get crispy we're gonna go in with our onions and peppers. I do not have a camera person, as you can tell. Go ahead and stir that around. We're gonna saute these down and get them to release some of their juices and sweeten those onions up. I'm gonna season this with a little bit of the K Fred. Any Cajun seasoning will work. K Fred is best. It's just what I like. So I've got those onions and peppers cooked down in the bacon grease. They're looking good. I'm gonna go ahead, add some garlic, a lot of it. So, you know, why not? Throw this jar away afterwards. And. I'm just gonna let that go for a second and turn it off. 
and we'll let this sit till I'm ready to put the peas in to the ham hock broth. Almost forgot the stars of the show, those field peas. So we're going to take our vegetable mixture, add that in here, like so. And then once we get all that goodness in there, I'm going to add the field peas. Oh yeah. Now, there's a little bit more broth in there that I want, but I'm gonna leave the lid off and it's gonna cook out the whole time. So we'll stir that down in there. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Oof. I haven't been home for a month, none of the seasonings have been used. Mm. Garlic powder and a little bit more k Fred. I'm gonna add a chicken bouillon cube into there. Now smoosh that before you put it in there. Smoosh. And one bay leaf. And we're gonna simmer these probably for a couple hours. I'm gonna be on the couch. All right, it's probably been an hour. I've been stirring the beans, or the peas I should say, every 10 minutes or so. All of, you guys thought I had too much liquid to start with. Look at that now. Oh yeah, them are done right there. Cooked all that liquid down. When I got to the right amount of liquid, I put the lid on it. Those are some delicious field peas and what I'm gonna do is put these in the fridge overnight reheat them tomorrow and they'll be that much better for having sat in the fridge overnight but it's like nine o'clock I'm tired I hunted marsh hens today uh, tomorrow I got videos to edit and uh, we'll do the taste test tomorrow it has been overnight since I cooked the field peas i was in there tasting them but uh anything like chili or a gumbo or anything you make if you put it in the fridge overnight if you know it tastes better because all the flavors kind of get together and i was tired the other night but i wanted to cook these and it took a little while so what i'm going to do is just warm them up in a pot and i'm going to add just a little bit of water to the pot just to kind of loosen things up and get them warm through here but we got some rice cooking there and we're gonna have these for lunch Do so it. I'm hungry I'm hungry we're both getting a little bit hangry right now you're hangry bickering <laughs> I'm trying to make a video crystal decides to do nine million other it's things banter i was cleaning i was cleaning because christmas is coming and if you want new things five you have to purge the you. old things five years i've known her she don't clean five, five years no anyways so look at the, how pretty these field peas they are super good. um like i said i add a little bit of water just to loosen them up i'm gonna make a big bowl right here and we're gonna share it how about that oh, we are? i think so because a big bowl just looks prettier for the YouTube. Uh, All right. Let's sit down and eat. Okay. What about you, Marlin? You want some field peas? And I'm going to bring us some delicious water. I'm coming. I just want some water first. I like to stay hydrated. Are you going to put anything on them? Some of the salad vinegar. Nice. All right, I'm coming. Yeah. All right. 
I am going to put a little bit of this homemade dattle vinegar on there. Just a little bit. <laughs> and give them a try. I know that they are about 9,000 degrees right now. So Yeah, they look super hot. Yeah. Blow on it. <laughs> You're gonna burn your Mm-hmm. That's really good. If you like <laughs> um, black-eyed peas, you gotta try field peas. They're kind of hard to get. Um, I've never really seen them other than I have the ones Jeff gave me, uh, but yeah. they're popular in the South, and this is the first time we picked them. It was fun, and we had a good time at hunt camp. I shot a doe, and Crystal shot a little buck, and we hung out and had a good time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna eat lunch, and I actually have to fry some marsh hens for the video that you guys saw last week. But it'll make sense to you later. <laughs> um, see you on the next one. So Bianca just came home. She didn't get a chance to try the field peas yet. And since she helped pick them and shell them, she got to try them. Oh. Ray? Yeah. Are they hot? No. <laughs> what you doing with a spoon? <laughs> what do you think? Mm. It's good? Oh, they're really good. Do you want a bowl? Yeah. Okay. Do you want rice with it. them? Go yeah. get your own bowl. <laughs> Little kids oh. these days.